Hey guys, this is Franco. And if you've ever been uh, frustrated mounting your electronics inside your, enclo your electrical enclosure, then you might want to watch this video. So I'm getting ready to uh, put together a new control box for my mini lathe. And naturally I want to mount my centroid acorn board in there. And for this configuration of what I'm doing, I'm also using this, what is this, this DB25-G2 uh, parallel port adapter. So these two things are going to go in together in my enclosure. And A, I wanted to make the process of mounting this up as simple as possible. I, I hate dealing with individual mounting holes. You know, it sounds like it should be a piece of cake to just drill a hole and put a plastic spacer in there. But when you're working vertically and you're trying to line all the stuff up, you know, the little spacers just fall down and it, you know, it gets frustrating. And also, I wanted to support this adapter. I didn't want this thing like cantilevering here off in space, um, you know, because you have a lot of terminals that you're working with here and you'll be pushing on it. So I wanted to support that. My solution to that was to go to my 3D printer. So what I did was I uh, made a bracket here that is basically has the whole pattern for the acorn board. And then I laid out another little bracket that has the three holes in it that support this DB25-G2 adapter. So it's, it's in two pieces. And all you do is when you're, you're mounting this thing, you just, you just make these bottom two edges flush with each other. And uh, everything should line up pretty well. And there you go. So you can see, you know, if you can imagine when this is fastened to the inside of your electrical enclosure, this is all very secure. You don't have to worry about things flexing and it'll be really easy to uh, you know, mount this thing up, right? There's a little bit of compliance in the, you know, in the openings of the boards uh, and the screws, so you can adjust things just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, it was designed for you to use number four screws. I would say any kind of number four screw would probably work fine to mount the boards to the plastic standoffs. So if you uh, want to use that design, I'll put a, a hyperlink to uh, the uh, Fusion 360 file. You can download it as an STL, 3D print it yourself. If uh, you're not able to print it yourself, just shoot me a comment or something. Maybe I can print a few of these things up and we can work something out. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.